<laughs> Y'all ready for some st <laughs> noises? That's actually not gonna happen. <laughs> I can't. I can't with these. The, some dude really just went to town and had some fun. Anyways, clutch fan went out. We overheated. Um, so we replaced that. Had a little bit of an oil leak. I also got a new gasket for the turbo because the one that came with the car kind of sucked and it's already getting a little bit crispy. <laughs> That fan do be kind of spinning though. Dude, yeah, I mean, is, that, is that Minecraft? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's so what sick, I'm doing. Bro. That's a yeah. cool world you got going on here. <laughs> nice. Come on, Soup. I love you too much. Do good for me, baby. Here we go. We're going to do a little bit of a test. Make sure everything's good while doing a little bit of his magic wizardry type stuff. I did. Uh, I did remove a little bit more timing from the boost sector, though, so that it might not might not feel quite as uh, robust. But uh, robust. What a. That's a good word. <laughs> that's a good choice of words. Let's go down our usual test street. Yeah. Like. Alrighty. Numbers look good. I don't know if you know this, but I like Supras. And I love Boost. Does anybody say they don't like Supras? Like, yeah, I think people trying to prove a point, maybe. I, I question those people. Yeah. Though. A little stuttering there. Yeah, a little, it's a little rich spot. It's 10, 10 5 air fuel. Okay. It's okay. Oh, rich. That's good. Yeah, okay. rich. Yeah. like I got enough fuel pulled out where we really shouldn't be uh, we should not be breaking up just due to fueling so I, I do kind of do kind of think we're looking at spark plugs right now we're gonna go ahead and change out the plugs this one's not so bad got a pretty big gap on it you should see the other guy though she got some oil on her boys that gum these disgusting boys are now gone and we've got the new ones in Freaking rips, mate. Oh my god. So we're gonna tune it now, put it on the dyno, 
and just see what happens, dude. This thing already on like four or five pounds, definitely faster than my STI was. <laughs> oh yeah, Dino, yeah. My heart is good right now, it's good. I'm, I'm excited, guys. Ah. That was just 250 right there. Oh boy! Just so you guys remember, we're super limited because we're on stock injectors. It says online the two JZ GE injectors are 335 cc. I think what Ethan said is we're pretty high on the duty cycle already, so we'll see. That's our big limiting factor. Honestly, at this point, I'm just gonna see what the kit does when you slap it in a car, get an ECU, and do a little bit of tuning with it. I, I would expect a lot higher power number for that kind of duty cycle on 336, 330C, something injectors, like that, yeah. yeah. So that's kind of odd. It's gotta mean that these injectors are smaller than what? Yeah, I well, heard there was somebody that said like 250 two, cc. I saw 250, so yeah. I saw people Maybe that's that. what it actually is then. Yeah. 330, like we should be able to definitely do 300 something horsepower. Yeah. But, uh, if they are too, which it kind of looks that way. Oh. has to be next that's really loud so that run the duty cycle was 92 right at the end okay but like I mean that's all I'm watching is just I'm watching the AFR and the duty cycle and my max throttle was like 55% that run and no this so not even if, if I go harder than that like it's definitely gonna be lean out or what is it gonna be leaned out and yeah maybe we yeah. can we're gonna we're gonna try one more thing we're gonna put a uh, aftermarket fuel pressure regulator not yeah. like yours but like one that we can just like splice yeah. in there okay. on top of the factory one even right now okay and maybe we can just bump pressure up a little bit more okay. we have plenty of pump for it so yeah we should be able to turn that up and get a little bit more so what kind of little um little setup we got going here Gonna push a little more fuel through. What is this? Tome. Oh, tom Tomei. It's Tomi here. It's 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 not Tomida. It's not the real. It's not the real deal. It <laughs> looks just, very real, oh. but it's not real. It's it's, it's to me. To, to me? Yeah, yeah. dude. It's, we got the to me on. All right, here is that two bar. Two yeah. bar. So it's only at thirty psi. Thirty psi yeah. right now. That's pretty low. It's pretty low, yeah. Huh. I don't know why it would be that low though. So now you can crank that up. Effectively, maybe try and make this more injector. FPR seem to does seem to be helping a lot. We got more power and the injectors are doing less work. <laughs> oh, so get yeah. so close, dude. 291. Just by doing a fuel pressure regulator. 40 more wheel horsepower on a Mustang dyno. That's impressive, dude. How much boost are we at right now? It's like six, seven pounds. Hmm. Yeah. So pretty, pretty good. Low. You wanted to go for more or anything? We're kind of pushing it as is right now. But uh, yeah, I mean, it'd be silly to push it right now because we have injectors. This is showing every sign of being like good. So good. I want to put the injectors in in E85 and mm. E85. Ha <laughs> ha! 
god, dude. 335? You just jumped from 290 to 335. Ah! That's awesome, dude. 10. Yeah, we hit 170 kPa, which is 10 pounds. That's that's really good. That's really good. You know what I'm gonna ask you, right? Mm. Uh, <laughs> can we make it go no, pop, pop, pop? The tune is done. The tune is done. Make it, no, make it, no. shoot some flames. All right. Oh my God. Oh, that sounds so good. <laughs> I love it. Pretty good, dude. It's a bit better than I thought it might be, you know? That's always a good day. Always a good day when that happens. Mm -hmm. 335 horsepower on stock fuel system. Unfortunately, we had to spend a decent amount of money to get an ECU, but that's like for every build. That's something you can't not get. If you didn't have the ECU and you, if your car did have mass airflow, then yeah, you might be able to get away with like 260, 270, but because Ethan at Trackstar was able to tinker with so much, uh, pull fuel out, add fuel through the fuel pressure regulator, mess with timing and that sort of thing, um, he was able to push out 335. That is awesome. Completely stock injectors. The only thing limiting us now is fuel. 100% it's just fuel. So we're gonna see how this setup does and uh, here pretty soon we might just pull that fuel rail out, put some big injectors in and see if we can make like 500 600 horsepower on the 85 or something like that but uh, i need tires first and brakes so the next few days are going to be some more restoration stuff and i'm really excited about that as fun as power is i want to drive a comfortable sexy car still got a lot of stuff to fix on the inside so something warren buffett which is a he's a you know, big investor if you don't know who warren buffett is makes you feel old and weird but uh, something warren buffett said if you continue to have an emotional reaction to everything that happens to you, you're gonna live a terrible life. He says, true power is sitting back and observing things with logic. True power is restraint. If words control you, that means everyone else can control you. Breathe and allow things to pass. Really wise words, because a lot of us are so quick to anger, quick to our response. I used to be the guy that like had to be quick-witted and had to reply to every comment, had to have a quick-witted reply to everyone and everything. If you said something about me, I said something about you, your mom, your dad, whatever, like, I was always the one with a better reply. One of, like, I never thought that I would say this or, or like this about myself. One thing I, learning to just control my words, restrain myself, and allow things to pass over the years. That has been one of the things that has like truly given me peace in life. And I think that's a big reason why this world has so many problems too, is because people can't just let go. I don't mean to like burst the mood or anything, but like it's so true. You have to just, you have to learn to be passive about some things. It's good to be active. It's good to be passionate about stuff, but 
if you let every single thing get to you, then whew, you're gonna live a crappy life and you're, and you're just gonna cause problems. Take that advice and run with it. It's a really good one I saw it the other day. I was like, I have to say this in one of the videos. Such a, like such, such an important thing to understand and lock in the bank. Deuce, you guys have an amazing day. See you next time. I got him two video. Hey, hey, Trailer Tom here, brother. What are you doing, Tom? Where'd you been? Hey, man, I'm just gonna tell these dudes to watch some dang dumb videos right here, man. I'm gonna <laughs> red drive this damn super right here. Tom, what are you, how'd you even get my camera? Hey, man. Oh, this thing look cool.